Company is brought to you by Johnsonville. Big taste from a small town. Whoa, listen to that. What a powerful announcement that was. Way to go, Joe. Hey, and with us right now is the man who's been teaching me to cook for so long and has taught me so much, the man who has created <laughs> Healthcraft Cookware, Mr. Charles Knight, hey. which makes it nighttime. I don't know, ah. I don't know whether I, I showed you much or I've showed you much and you've learned little. Well, I have, I have learned a lot. You would be you? surprised at the difference between now and three years ago when I first started. I would be surprised. <laughs> you would be. <laughs> Believe me. What are, are you, we making? Are, this are you is cooking at home yet? Uh, well, occasionally, yes. Really I made right? some eggs the other day. I'm depressed. I mean, impressed. I imagine you are. <laughs> Wait, what is this deal up here, Jack Streak? Was that with clothes or with what is that? I have no idea. What is that, Jack Streak? That's what something Scotty did. Over What's here? that to have to do with? You've done, done three shows in a row. Count. Oh, yeah. we're, oh. we're starting Ripken's. after Cal's record. Oh, three Cal Ripken here. Because you know Cal Ripken called in sick today. Oh, yeah. Did he really? <laughs> he did. Oh, yeah. Cal Ripken will never call in sick. How about that? Well, I'm, He'll I'm never impressed. Do hey, I just heard you got your vacation pictures back. I got my vacation pictures back. I hadn't heard about them. Uh, I haven't seen them. You <laughs> haven't? No. Well, we just we just heard you got them back. Here they are. I think what you is got that? Is that a vacation <laughs> picture? <laughs> it looks like one of your... That's you out on the, on the pool. Oh, out in the pool? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, that went over big. Let's go. Okay, Please anyway. Do. It's one of those Finally, rainy days, you know. I anyway. know what you mean. Okay, are you ready for this? I have already okay. tasted it. This, this is a great Minnesota. This is an soup. absolutely phenomenal recipe. The only one problem. What's that? Two onions. Two, oh, we got onions, onions today. I, yes. I see the onions. And, and this is a low-fat recipe. This one is four grams of fat. If you use just two Johnsonville sauces, you use three. It's, it goes up a little bit. You know, Six if you grams. use all pounds... Uh, if you use all the whole pound here, it goes up to 12 grams, so you can... So you use a little or more, but I tell you yeah. what, you make it taste better by putting more in there, so I wouldn't worry I, about the grams. I started with just, I just started with three sausage, and it, that's about, uh, that's between four and six grams of fat per serving. How much, so that's not bad. How much did you have in what I ate? Uh, that one had uh, three, so it had about, maybe about a half a pound, so that would be about four or five. Oh, that was great. Somewhere between four and six grams well, of fat. Well, let's show them how to okay, do it you ready? run out of time. Okay, you got to do the onions. The onions first. Now, I'll tell you what. I don't want you to touch the knife. You make me nervous. Well. All right, I'll do the knife. You cut the onions. Okay. Okay? And I have, we're still getting suggestions on there, things today. I have got a suggestion from a lady. On how to keep from yes, crying when you cut the onions. What she said is she said, you take a piece of paper towel like this, and she says you wet it. Oh, this is going to be something. She says you wet the paper towel, yeah. and she says, and you stick it over your face. Put the wet paper towel yeah, stick over it your a, face? Put it over your face, over your nose and your mouth. Okay. And she says, that'll solve the problem, okay? Uh, yeah. Your nose should hold that. Uh, you'd think it would. It should hold it, okay. I have to stick it up right. my nose here. Let me, let me have the other onion here, okay? Okay. Okay, you cut the onions. We'll see what happens, all right? <laughs> is, is it working? Well, I can't tell yet. I can't smell anything. Okay. Well, that, that's the whole Whoop. point there. The only, th the only so problem, that thing I... sticks out a little bit far because of that thing right there. No, it's kind of like a big, <laughs> kind of like one of those old hoop skirts on my nose. <laughs> here, let me throw let's that say, in there. Okay. Okay? Well, this isn't working. I don't know. No. You want, want me to ahead? hold it? Here, I'll hold it. Yeah, you hold it okay, over. Hold, okay. okay. Go ahead. There we go. <laughs> Oops. You're, how come you are so slow? We're well, going to be into this. How's it, is it on. working? I think it is. Okay, good. <laughs> Stop breathing on my hand. You get me excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there I think we your go. makeup's coming off. <laughs> I think it is too. All right, ooh. I don't know. It's, is it good for you? So far, it's yeah. terrible for me. I can smell the you onions. Two people here doing this is the only problem. Look at all, all right. the stuff you wasted here. Look at this. What a minute. Wait a minute. I tell you, you, well, go, you go over here. I was having oh, trouble breathing. I forgot what I'm doing here. In the meantime, we're supposed to be putting the sausage in there. So you get okay. the sausage in there and Harry, and I'll cut up these other things. Let me I don't think sausage. that's very practical. I don't know if it works. Why? Are you crying? Well, I'm getting a little teary out. Are you? So am I. Oh, but I don't think that boy. has anything to do with this. I think it has to do with the ratings. Right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, I'm missing a bowl. Okay. What we're going to do is How we're going to put... How many of these do you want? Uh, let's put two of them in there. That'll keep it to four grams of fat. All right, now, what you've got is you've got onions, you've got some garlic. I need a weenie that's here. That's what they have garbage cans for. Okay? Anyway, put some garlic in here. Man, no, it's not working. And it's not working? Yeah, I can tell it's not working. Whew. Ah. I can see it coming. All right, anyway, what we're going to do here, if I could see, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to cut up some celery. This is a pretty uh, pretty easy recipe. 
The only problem is I can't see the rest. I can't see the oh, celery here. Oh, man, okay. that's brutal. That one didn't work. So, obvious, you have to mix that. No. Yeah, you have to mix Oh, that. you got to mix this Woo! with this thing here, <laughs> with this one here. Yeah. Those onions are strong. Hey, we'll take a you. break and oh, be back we? with more in just a moment. Kind of take a oh, crying oh, break here. Go over to be back with less. Want to stir that up a little? Shannon Faulkner fought for two and a half years to enter the Citadel. A week later, she quit. This is something I had worked for for so long. Beverly Hurd testified in court that at age 16, she had sex with Congressman Mel Reynolds. Just that I want people to be aware of what goes on, what happened. What really happened? Both claim that there's more to their stories. Shannon Faulkner and Beverly Hurd answer your questions live next on a new season of Oprah. Today at 4, now on Channel 8. Please stand by for an important message for all senior citizens. Statistics tell us that you are 10 times as likely to lose your eyesight after the age of 65 than at any other time during your life. Many vision problems occur gradually and are virtually unnoticed until it's too late. That's why the Senior Eye Care Network, a group of eye care specialists in your community, will donate their time and offer free eyesight evaluations to anyone over the age of 60. The doctors or their staff will check your eyes for the symptoms that alert them to eye problems common to seniors. This sight evaluation is provided absolutely free as a community service. To arrange for your free evaluation, just call the toll-free number on your screen. Protect your eyesight. Call now. All you have to do to arrange for your free eyesight evaluation is call the toll-free number on your screen. Don't put it off. Your vision is too important. There's absolutely no cost or obligation. The free eyesight evaluation is provided as a service from the Senior Eye Care Network. For a free eyesight evaluation, call 1-800-584-0909. That's 1-800-584-0909. Well, we're back now. I this is the worst onion I have ever gotten out of my life. I'm not really sure if this is supposed to put this over your eyes. Yeah, that's right. You're supposed to put it over your nose. Somebody said over the eyes or whatever. Whatever I don't know. Whatever it is, it doesn't work. It's not it's working. a killer onion. Okay. Anyway, getting back to this, we've got uh, we've got celery, we've got uh, potatoes, got two onions. potatoes, two pieces of celery, two pieces of carrot. All right. Thank you. All right. Two pieces of carrot. Well, that stuff flying all over the place here. Looks well, like Gallagher was really, in town Really, I only lost one piece there. Look at it. A uh, piece of zucchini. And you want to squirt a little bit of lemon juice in that, too. Squirt a little lemon yeah, juice. Yeah, just a little bit of lemon juice, because what that'll do, not too much, is that'll bring out the flavor. OK? OK. There you go. You can do that. OK? Now, once you've got all this stuff cut up. A couple of lemon seeds in there. You're ready to cook. You put the chicken stock. Don't wipe your hands Oh, wait, there's pants. a seed right there. Let me, That's whoops, all right. We'll find it later. There. All right. there you go. Put the chicken the stock thing? in. The chicken stock, thing? yes. One can of tomatoes. Is your arm broken? No. Well, I got, I got the off? results oh. of that survey. I oh, want right. to. Uh, okay. One can of uh, tomatoes. All right. It's hard to cook and do surveys at the same that time. That is true. You can put that down right Wait, there. There's we a blob of stock in there. That's that right. Come out. Don't, don't it worry be about a gizzard that. or something. For put all some. Uh, this this is real. What really makes it taste besides the Johnsonville sauce is the Great Northern beans. The They're beans. Yeah. Oh yeah. Half a cup of pasta. Ooh yes. Okay. And about a tablespoon. Oh, that's way more. Oh my heavens! You put. That's a half a cup of oh, that. This stuff. makes it so good though. You can't yeah, believe how good it is. Right? It's then what you do is you take all the vegetables. I didn't finish it. What was right? it? What was that? You didn't say what you put in there. That is Italian seasoning. I thought they read it. Italian right? seasoning. Right? And the last thing that you put in is the cabbage. Oh, the so cabbage. You got, is grind cool. up some cabbage. A half a head of cabbage, a small head. And that should about do it. Right? Hey, can I do, should I do that survey right now? Do we have time? While you're doing that, let me just, sure. you know, we did the survey to find out, because we had read that only one in a thousand people could accurately tell you what ABC, NBC, and CBS stood for, accurately. We took a survey out of this audience of, what, about 100 people? And three got it right. Three, three people, only three. It's that? the American Broadcasting Company, the National Broadcasting Company, 
and the Columbia Broadcasting System. system exactly. And only three that. got it right, so, uh, but that's better than one out of that. Of course, this is a very erudite, learned audience. A who? A very intellectual audience, what an articulate the group. Used? They're very erudite. Erudite. That's something they have in deodorant, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> erudite. All right, anyway, that cooks, and you let that cook for about... Um, let that cook for about 20, 25, 30 minutes, depending. Yeah. Okay? Depending Cover. on yeah, what? You don't have to keep on messing with it like that. Depending on okay. what? Well, depending. And depending on how long you want to cook it. Okay? But if you only want to cook it five, six minutes. That's no good. Okay. You have to cook it like at least 35, so. 40 minutes. Okay. Okay. Gonna... Now, when you're finished, this is what it looks like. This is so good. It is really good. This is what, now, this is real thick because you use five cups of chicken stock. If you wanted to add water to this, you could. But uh, I like it thick. Oh, I do too. What does I minestrone mean, anyway? Minestrone means vegetables. Is that what it means? I have no idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> little stronies. Yeah. Little stronies. Mini stronies. Yes, Mini stronies. That's, that's right. Very, very right. good, Joe. Very good. Now, what you want to do is you garnish the top with a little bit of grated cheese, Italian cheese, Romano or Parmesan, and that's it. Okay. And, and we're going to split the way this it over looks in front of. Ramona King, who is our announcer, and boy, Ramona, you are so lucky. I, it looks good. Oh, it not only looks good, but it mm. tastes great. I tried it right before the show. This was. Is this what we smell cooking? Um, That's what we smell cooking. Yes. Either that, or it was something that Nero did over Delicious. in the corner. There. Isn't that great? Great. Yeah, isn't that good. great? Yeah, that's terrific. You, you like go on and try that stuff. Yes, you can take that with you. Yeah, definitely so. If you would like to get a copy of this recipe, just write to Minestrone Johnsonville, Box Eight Eight Eight. Tampa 33601, and please send a stamp self-addressed envelope, and we'll send you a copy of that recipe. Boy, this is the best minestrone soup I have had in a long time. I want to tell you about something that we have been talking about a lot, and that is Table for Two from Johnsonville, something brand new, which you see right here before you. In fact, there are seven different flavors of Table for Two. These are entrees. There are two entrees in here, which you take them home. They're not frozen. They're fresh and no preservatives or anything like that involved in them. And all you have to do is pop these pouches into boiling water for about 10 minutes, and you have two entrees that are delicious. As I said, seven to choose from. If they don't have them at the grocery store you normally go to, go to another and find them. It's worth a table for two.